All right, guys, more stuff to show you from uh, my Going Gear package. Uh, I got some uh, cool bandana patterns I want to go through with you. Uh, if you watch my EDC updates, you'll know that I've been really into carrying a bandana, especially in the summertime, although, you know, all year round it's very useful. Um, but I can't tell you how many times I, I break that thing out to use it, whether I'm wiping my forehead down because I'm sweating my butt off, or, you know, whether I'm using it as a, a makeshift mask because I'm moving, you know, something dusty. Uh, really, really handy stuff. And I got some more bandanas from viewers. This is actually a, uh, a custom one you'll see in a, a future video I got from a really nice viewer who actually started making bandanas. Uh, and then I also got these, which are awesome as well. And then of course I like, you know, just the standard uh, cotton bandanas you get to get from like Walmart and places like that. Uh, but I like these ones specifically because they, they're dual purpose. Okay, so the first one here, open it up and show you. This one has a bunch of fly fishing knots on it. All right, so not only is it a nice, cool, like emerald green color, but you can use it as a reference for different knots. Now it says fly fishing knots, but of course it's, it's versatile. You can use these knots for other things, any kind of cordage, but really cool. Just love that. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys into the survival stuff have seen these before. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip this for a second because this one isn't helpful. It's just badass. <laughs> Who doesn't want a bandana with a bunch of Victorinox Swiss Army knives on there? Am I right? <laughs> so this one I'm actually going to start EDCing real soon. Uh, besides that, we also have uh, this orange one here. We'll open that up. This is the survival bandana. This has a variety of different things on there. It shows you different animal prints here. It shows you how to make a, a quick trap. Um, you know, obviously there's a compass in case you forget what that looks like. But cool little tidbits here and there. This one also has some different knots. So it is kind of multifunctional. It's a bandana at its base. You can wipe the sweat off your face and use it for all kinds of things. Um, but it also has a couple of tips. So pretty cool for you know survival bag. And the last one here is a first aid bandana, which again is super helpful. And I'm not gonna go over all the stuff. You can look at the pictures on the site if you want. But here's what that looks like. All right, and obviously as you go around, there's different things. This first one here is on heat exhaustion. All right, a little tidbit on some snakes. So we rotate it, shock, you know, things to look for. Um, just really interesting. It says it is recommended that wilderness travelers receive formal first aid training. Of course, that's a no brainer. Um, little thing on insects here. So just a little tidbit, some stuff to read while you're sitting around waiting for, for who knows what. But I like these bandanas. I mean, like I said, since I've been into bandanas in general, I'm kind of starting to collect them. You know, they're super cheap. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. These are about anywhere from like five to seven dollars, just depends on which one. But of course, you know, when you go to the stores, you can get pretty much every color and pattern under the sun for usually a buck a piece. Sometimes you can buy them in bulk and get them even cheaper than that. But uh, yeah, just I'm starting to find them really, really useful. So, uh, you know, when I was getting some stuff from Going Gear, I noticed they had a bunch of cool patterns. And uh, this one specifically, just kind of caught my eye. So this one, this is the one I'll start carrying soon for my EDC. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.